Californian Tim Briggs wasn't signed up for Delta notifications when he traveled to Oxford, Mississippi recently. His bad. Fortunately, his wife called to tell him Delta's computer system had crashed early Monday, grounding hundreds of flights worldwide. Briggs was on his way to Memphis International Airport when he heard. He went back to Oxford and waited for a flight three hours later. He was one of thousands of Delta customers affected by an outage that was still affecting Delta's network earlier today. In all fairness, I'm not a, I'm not a normal Delta customer, so I didn't have their, their phone app on my phone, which in retrospect probably should have. But So I found out about it third hand through my wife. I've since downloaded the app, and the app has been very good at keeping me up to date in terms of in terms of that, although I did try to call this morning into Delta, and uh, it was impossible to get through, which is yeah. not a surprise. As recently as Wednesday, 10 of Delta's 21 Memphis departures didn't leave on time. For an airport that's down to about 90 flights a day, that's significant. The Delta computer outage followed a Southwest glitch in July and a United failure last summer. Experts say air travelers can expect more of the same because big carriers are pushing IT systems beyond the breaking point. In other news, the Global Entry Program Office announced by airport officials last January at last has a firm opening date at Memphis, September 14th. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency will open an office between B and C ticketing lobbies near PreCheck. Membership in Global Entry entitles travelers to expedited customs clearance and includes participation in PreCheck, the go-to program for people who want to keep their shoes and belts on. Global Entry costs $100 for five years. Finally, the Lamar Avenue Improvement Project in Southeast Memphis was mentioned among notable freight infrastructure projects that didn't make the cut in the first federal Fast Lane Program awards. A group that advocates for money to bolster America's freight industry said Fast Lane funding fell short of expectations for projects improving the flow of goods. The Coalition for America's Gateways and Trade Corridors said Memphis was among several economic engines that went unrecognized. The Tennessee Department of Transportation had sought a $180 million grant toward a $300 million project to widen and improve Lamar. No word yet on the state's next move.